Okay, I just had a customer uh, email me that he had uninstalled uh, VCAR from one computer or was putting it on another computer, needed to know how to pick the post process. So this is how we do it. Okay, so in VCarve, doesn't matter what file. This is an old file. This is version 10.0. I'm going to show you why. Um, and I have this one set up. So when I save the toolpath out, my list of post processors here is very long. And this was an old version. So we didn't have one specifically for the SmartBench at the time. So if we did, it would be down here under the Y for Yeti SmartBench here. We didn't have one. So what I used was GRBL. And I've been told by some people that there is one up here somewhere called SmartBench, but it doesn't work properly. So I've never seen it in my versions, so I'm not sure. But in the early version, this is version 10, I would select GRBL just by scrolling up. This is the list of all the post processors, and I'd select GRBL either inch or millimeter. I used millimeter, um, and then that was the output that I was doing, and that's how we worked at, the, at that point. So that's in version 10, 10.0. In 10.5, and, and, and I don't ever want to scroll through all this, this long list again. So there's a way to get away from that. So I can go into that directory and take grbl, dot, the millimeter one, and copy it into a fo folder called My Posts. And I could put three different post processors here that I have if I have three different machi machines. So I'm going to use the SmartBench, and I'm going to use a Holzer, and I'm going to use a Heian. Um, I'll take those three posts, and that way when I want to output to a particular machine, I use my drop-down list, and it would just be three posts there. How do we do that? We go to File, Open Application Data, data Folder, and this is going to be down the Windows tree a bit. So we're in VCarve version 10, and I would go into the post processors, and I'd slide down and grab G-Code, the GRBL, hit the right button to copy it, and then I'm going to go up from one folder and I'm going to go into my post processor and paste it. So now that I've pasted it in there, if I close down version 10 and come back into it, it will only have that as my post. Because if it's going to read this folder, my underscore post P, if there's something in there, then that's the, what it's going to read and that will be your selection. So I'll do that. I'll close this down. This is version 10.0. So I'll say file, uh, save, and I'll just call this garbage. And then I'll file exit. And I'll go back into version 10. It's going to be a little screwy on screen for a minute. That's because of the recording software. Okay, so we're opening up version 10. I'll crack open the job I just had. Go over there. And now when I go to save a, an output, there's just the one file there. So that's how you do it in the old one and in the newer versions. In the newer versions, though, we're going to be able to select the Yeti SmartBench. I'm going to open up a newer version. And I keep old versions because I have customers that still run 10.0. I have 10.5. I have 11. So my organization here is a little screwy all the time because of the different versions that I keep for my customers. So 10.5. And I've got 11 on a, a, a notebook that I keep with me. Uh, so it's, it's not on this lap, not on this uh, machine. So this is 10.5. And we'll go over to, the, to, to do the tool pathing. We'll select here. And I just have the one in there. Now this is using Yeti Tool SmartBench. That's the one that's in that post process. So if I go back there to File, Open Application Data Folder, I can go down to, this is version 10.5, I can go down to all the post processors in the list, scroll down to the bottom, highlight one, hit Y for Yeti, and there's the Yeti SmartBench. Hit the right button. I can either select this, and that'd be fine, or I can copy it and then put it into this folder called my post P, which it was already there, paste it, and there we are. So that's how we change and select the proper post. So I hope that helped you. It's real quick, um, not difficult to do, but it is something that we don't do often enough. So anytime we're switching computers, uh, sometimes we need a little reminder. I had to look up how to find the uh, proper folder directories to move stuff, but happy to help.
So I'm Eric Schiller with Yeti Tools Southeast. That's www.yetismartbench.com, and I sell and support the Yeti Smart Bench across the United States. Thanks so much.